Hi guys, Chelsea from Making Me and Zita here, and today I'm going to be showing you how we transformed this big empty wall in the side of our laundry room. And we are gonna be building DIY mudroom lockers. We are so excited to be partnering with our friends at DAP Products for this fun project. Let's get started. First, you'll wanna cut down all the plywood pieces using a table saw. Next up, you'll want to lightly sand all the plywood with an orbital sander and 150 grit sandpaper. Now you can start assembling your cabinets. The key here is you wanna assemble the cabinets and the shelves as much as possible in your work area. That's the shop part of our garage. While you're assembling, you wanna keep in mind the width and the heights of any doors that you may need to go through to make sure all of the pieces fit and you have ample room to rotate and stand up the longer pieces. Be sure to pre-drill any and all screw holes when you're dealing with pie hole to prevent the layers of the plywood from separating. It's also best to countersink all of your screws in the plywood as well. Now to fill all those screw holes, we recommend using DAP Plastic Wood X to fill all the screw holes and then you sand smooth with 150 grit sandpaper. Now that the cabinets have been assembled as much as possible outdoors in your work area, you can bring them inside and attach them together. When we built our cabinets in three separate pieces, we brought them inside and attached. To attach the pieces together, we drilled angled pilot holes in the back of the cabinet and secured with one and a half inch star drive trim screws. Next, you can add plywood back panels to the back side of the cabinet. You want to be sure to add wood glue and then secure with nails. Now it's time to get those cabinets in place and secure to your wall. If the walls or flooring are not level, you may need to use wood shims to ensure that everything is level. Use two and a half inch construction screws to secure the lockers into place on the walls where the studs are located. Now it's time to move on to the face frame. You wanna cut your oak trim down to length using the miter saw, and then you can drill pocket holes using the Craig Jig. We used the Craig Jig 320, which is portable and small and perfect for these small pieces. Next, you'll want to take the face frame pieces and assemble it on a flat surface. We incorporated the use of our clamp and table and stand to clamp down the face frame pieces at a perfect 90 degree angle and assemble, and then we brought it inside to secure. Once you bring the face frame inside, you can apply wood glue and one and a half inch finish nails to attach the, to the front of your mudroom lockers. Again, using DAP's Plastic Wood X wood filler, fill all nail holes on the face frame and where the cabinets are secured to the wall and then sand smooth with 150 grit sandpaper. Now you can apply DAP Alex Flex Caulk to all corners and edges. This gives you a nice and finished look 
fills any gaps and joints and it makes them virtually disappear. Be sure you're using paintable caulk for this. For the doors, you want to start by cutting the wood down. You'll cut the plywood with the table saw and the MDF trim to length with the miter saw. Next, we chose to chamfer the edges of the MDF trim. This gives you a nice finished look with slightly rounded edges. Now for the mudroom locker doors, we used quarter inch plywood with pieces of half inch MDF trim added to the front to add dimension. We added the trim around the edges and then one piece of trim in the middle. You can attach the trim to the plywood with wood glue and then nails from the back side. Now we know this isn't the quote unquote right way to build a cabinet door, but it is much simpler and less expensive than building inset panel doors like we've done on other projects. And when you're painting the project anyway, you barely can tell. After you get the doors assembled, be sure to fill all nail holes and imperfections using Plastic Wood X, Sand Smooth, and then apply more Alex Flex caulk to any corners and edges for a nice finished look. Now let's move on to those cabinets. We applied two coats of primer to the cabinets before painting, and then we moved on to paint. The paint color is Bear's Black Bamboo and we applied it with the Wagner Flexio 3000 paint sprayer. After the paint has fully cured, you can move on to adding the doors. You'll see here that we are using some spacers behind the hinges. Truth be told, Logan had already originally started building the lockers with different hinges in mind. We of course recommend figuring out what type of hinges you're going to use before you start building. But then I came in and changed the plans. So, most hinges require a very specific design, but if you make this simple mistake like we did, you can always add in spacers like this and make adjustments to finish and add the doors. Your final step is to add hardware to the front of your doors and hooks inside the lockers. And there she is. I am absolutely obsessed with our new mudroom lockers. I know they took us months to do while our two toddlers were running around, but I am so happy that we're done. I love these perfect little baskets on the bottom where our shoes fit perfectly so they're not laying all over the house anymore. And each person in our family has their own locker so we can hang up jackets and backpacks. And the best part is that there's doors to just close and cover all that clutter. Now on the right two cabinets, you'll see we did one with shelves for lots of extra storage. And then the one on the very far right is for our cleaning supplies. And I plan to add in some baskets and further organizational help in this cabinet. And I'm so excited to finally have a spot for all of that stuff. Now here's what we started with, if you remember. It was boring, empty, and just was calling for some customization. Ever since I saw this house for the very first time, I knew that that wall right there needed some built-in storage. And I think it turned out amazing. I had so much fun teaching you guys how to build these mudroom lockers. Be sure to hop on over to makingmanzanita.com to see more details and tons of step-by-step -step pictures. A big thanks again to our friends at DAP for sponsoring this project and video. I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you next time.